when she was three days old. We went to the pediatrician and he asked us if we knew about, the, about her palate. And we said, no, what's wrong? And he said she had a cleft palate. But it seemed to be a minor case, smaller. She wasn't um, nursing at the hospital, but they didn't seem to think anything major was wrong. They just thought maybe she wasn't a nurser. So um, then when the pediatrician told us that, then we got educated on it. He printed some things off and told us we needed to order special bottles. So we then started to do that. Some cleft palate bottles are considered assisted delivery bottles, meaning the parent can pulse the bottle or nipple to assist the flow of milk into the baby's mouth. The Mead Johnson is an assisted delivery bottle. It's a soft bottle that's easily squeezed in rhythm with your baby's suck and swallow pattern. When you feed your baby with this bottle, you gently squeeze in a pulsing manner. If you squeeze too hard or with a constant pressure, your baby may take in too much milk or be forced to swallow milk when she's resting and not ready to swallow. This could cause her to cough and sputter. So remember, squeeze in a pulsing rhythm. When the baby sucks, you squeeze. When she rests, you stop squeezing. You don't need to take the nipple out of the mouth when the baby is resting. Just leave it there and she'll start feeding again in a few seconds. This bottle takes a little bit of practice but once you've used it a few times, you'll feel much more comfortable. The best way of knowing how hard to squeeze the bottle is to keep track of how long it takes to feed your baby. If it's taking longer than 30 minutes, you need to squeeze the bottle a little harder. If you're staying in the 30 minute time frame and your baby is satisfied after the bottle is emptied, then everything is going fine. Although the bottles are labeled disposable, they are reusable and can be washed. Clean the bottles and nipples with warm soapy water, rinse, and air dry. Do not boil, microwave, or place the bottle in the dishwasher. Just like other nipples, you should always inspect the nipples for signs of wear and tear. Using an old nipple can be dangerous for your baby. If the nipple looks misshapen, feels soft or gummy, or has any cracks, it is time to throw it away and use a new one. Treat them just like they're a regular baby. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just a, it's just a, a feature that's fixable. Just relax. It's all good. <laughs>